Okay, so ethical and legal is counseling issues. We have to think about accountability. Again, we're not in an island of our own. We want to make sure that we are following confidentiality and expectations. Office expectations, state law expectations, federal law expectations, code of ethics expectations. You may have several different code of ethics that you follow. Understand that the state law will always trump code of ethics. But also understand that a lot of the state law has been developed based off of the primary code of ethics. And so you want to look at what is going to be, uh, for example, can I have a relationship with my client? Some code of ethics say, sure, after five years of not counseling them. Some say after two years of not counseling. I believe our Texas state law right now is five years. It may have gone up to seven. My personal opinion, doesn't matter how many years, doesn't need to happen. Because there's always that power and control aspect. There's a power differentiation. Uh, another ethical and legal counseling issue is your documentation and records. If you're not keeping good documentation and records, well then you're going to run into a problem. One of the things that I ran into recently was I had a client that uh, requested their documentation and records. And I had to contact... Um, state board and my uh, insurance and explain to them that I don't have the records anymore because my stuff was stolen. Now, because I had already contacted the state board regarding the stuff being stolen, it protected me for not having those records. The other thing that happened um, for a lot of therapists was right after Harvey hit, a lot of therapists lost their records. It's why a lot of therapists are now online and all their records are kept online. And so ran into a similar issue uh, at that time. But, you know, again, contacted the people I need to contact and say, okay, what's my best approach? Got my directive and did exactly that. And so that's, that's part of that ethical and legal issues. You're not hiding from it. You're not running from it. You're saying, hey, this happened. What do I need to do? Dual relationships. Making sure that you're not counseling somebody that you're best friends with. There's a reason we don't counsel our family and our friends. Informed consent. Making sure that your client knows exactly what they're getting and they're okay with it. And then legal issues in counseling. What can you break confidentiality for? When do you refer? When do you end the sessions? And then finally, compassion, fatigue, and burnout and self-care. So these are the things that you want to be able to think through and know. I've got these areas under control. And if I don't, I know who to contact for assistance. Thank you guys and um, y'all have a very blessed day. Bye.